Hey everybody, Keith Carver here. We have removed some hiccups with our autoresponder system and we are up and running and we're running real, real well. All right, let's show you some improvements that we have. Uh, over to the right hand side, you'll notice that we have members home campaigns. So campaigns means an autoresponder. So each autoresponder that we have, I'm going to click on the button right now for you. It might take a little while because I've got a tremendous amount of autoresponders that I'm working on uh, in our test bed uh, site. And uh, we've kind of set it up like a manila folder, like the old days where you would have a manila folder and inside that manila folder, and we even have the manila color here, you have subscribers, you have how many uh, emails you've sent, you have uh, if you have sent any autoresponder messages, and so on and so forth. And as you can see, as you slide down, you can see here's another manila folder, which means it's another campaign that we have. And in here we have a certain number of subscribers, how many subscribers have removed themselves from the list, and how many messages we've sent. Now, and this shows that we've not set up any autoresponder messages in this particular campaign. You can use HTML code of email only. Just by clicking this button, the code will automatically pop up. By cl clicking this button here, the code for name and email will, will pop up. If you want to uh, get name, email, and cell phone number, you click this and you paste that onto any website that you want and the customer can enter in the name email and cell phone number the cell phone excuse me cell phone number and email on this one and this one is name email cell phone not required and then only cell phone the nice new features that we've added that we're going to talk about at a later date are manage forms and custom fields we've added a new feature called custom fields which means that uh, let's say that uh, you wanted to add a hundred fields for this particular account and let's say that uh, you wanted to get detailed information what is your shoe size what is your pant size what is your shirt size uh, do you wear uh, you know do you wear ties a yes and no field so we've got several new custom fields that uh, have been added here also uh, we've, we've added uh, uh, new improvements with our opt-in form so all those uh, forms let me just uh, stop uh, Skype from beeping here uh, all those opt-in forms uh, can have all those uh, all that uh, data information in there so very nice new features that we've added and we're gonna get into a lot of detail at a later date as I mentioned what I really want to do is I want to show you what happens with email subscribers if you have different campaigns what would happen before is that you would only be able to email one campaign at a time so if you had a campaign of 100 people here and 100 people here, you'd have to send out two emails. You'd cut and paste certainly the email and send it out twice. But now you can check off what emails you want to use, what email campaigns you want to use, and then click the Submit button. So if I do that now, I want to, if, let's say I wanted to send out an email to this new group of campaigns that I have here, I would just simply hit Submit. And I could send it, send the message out as an HTML or text message, either way. And here's another new feature that I want to show off here. Previously, you had to set that, send that email out the second that you clicked send mail. Now we've added the feature that you can send it, uh, let's say uh, I wanted to send it out uh, tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock Eastern Time. Well, we know that uh, the current server time says it's 11, but where I am is on Eastern Time. So I would change this to, if I want to send it out at noon time, ex uh, excuse me, at 11 o'clock Eastern Time, I would set this to 10 o'clock right here and click the Send Mail. And that will go out tomorrow at 10, excuse me, 11 o'clock Eastern Time, this email here. So that's a really nice feature so that you can hold back the bulk mail when you want to. So if it's 3 o'clock in the morning and you have an idea and you know that it's not a good, a good idea to send out an email at 3 o'clock in the morning, you can hold it out to the time that you actually want to send it. Great improvement. We've also made some improvements on the look and feel of our system. Message history. If you click on message history, which we'll do right now, which I've actually just already did, uh, and I want to check out uh, all the messages that I've sent from here, I would just simply click on the messages. Now previously, the format was pretty darn ugly, but now it's very attractive. Uh, what happened previously is that all these messages where it says show, they would all show and it would all be clumped together and it would look ugly. So now, if you want to say, okay, I know I sent a message at some point to this list, and I can't remember what it was or uh, where it was, 
what was that? And they're like, oh, here it is. This is the subject right here. Excuse me, this is the subject. This is when it was sent. This is the subject. We just made some improvements. And this is the show the message. And it says, hello, name. We made some improvements. Here they are, blah, blah, blah. So it's really uh, a nice look and feel, much more attractive uh, than it was previously. And we did much the same with our autoresponder message system too. And of course, autoresponder messages are different than a message history. Message history is if you want to send out a bulk message, or if you want to send out an immediate message, one-time message, that's where you're going to find the history of those messages. With autoresponder messages, here's where you set up 6, 7, 10, 100 messages to go out to one campaign over a period of time. So if I click on that, which I've already done, I believe I have some in uh, double digit sales. Yeah, I have two. Uh, this has also been improved, the look and feel. Uh, over here is when the message goes out. Over here is the subject of that message. Here you can either delete that message or edit the message. Previously, again, uh, the message was here and it showed up and it was big and it was ugly and it was hard to find. Now all you need to do is look at the subject when, it, when it's set to go out and if you want to edit that, you click the edit message and the message shows up in here and you can certainly edit that message whenever you want. And That looks like it needs to be edited. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's go back to uh, another page here. Okay, one of the, my favorite features is the bonus feature because you get a couple things in here that uh, I don't know of any other companies that are providing such great features here. We've got a, a fantastic a blueprint on effective list building in here that you can have and you can uh, hours of information on how to build your list. Bonus number two is a free email series reveals five steps on how to use Facebook. So if you want to promote Facebook and you just don't know exactly how and you need some emails to get yourself started, well this is a, a message exactly how to get yourself started to grow your list for people to help people on how to build their list on Facebook. We also have the same thing about Pinterest. There's a five-day crash course on Pinterest that's yours. So if you want to promote Pinterest and you think that people are interested in learning about Pinterest, you can teach them about Pinterest and at the same time grow your list. But the biggest bonus right now that we have that uh, I don't believe anybody else has is our viral opt-in system. If you were to go into viral opt-in system today, we are selling it uh, and we sell it quite frequently for $47 uh, for the kit. But as a member of SMS Dominator, you get to use the viral opt-in system for free. So you simply download the viral opt-in system here and you can learn how to install the viral opt-in system by watching this video and how to use the viral opt-in system by clicking here. And of course, if you have any questions, you can certainly uh, contact us. But uh, we've got four great, really great uh, bonuses and more are coming. So please, every time you log in, check out the bonuses. I think you'll absolutely love them. So in fact, I'll just go right here and show you the, the list building here. This is the list building page. Stop struggling and, and it talks about all the certain things about list building. Here's the video one. It's about defective list building blueprint. What's included in here? And video number two, and what's included in there. Each video is over an hour long, I believe. Let's see, I'm gonna hit the play button so we can see the number. This is an hour and 16 minutes long. All right, can I? And this video here is an hour and seven right, minutes good. long. So I was right. <laughs> so you get two hours of information on how to build your list, where to go to get uh, your list information. Really, really good stuff. All right, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please contact us and or ask us right inside here. Thank you.